uh, discuss about the work of another novelist, namely Scott Fitzgerald, Fitzger, Fitzgerald, Scott Fitzgerald, uh, and his work on which we are going to concentrate our discussion is the Great Gatsby. <coughs> The name of the novelist on which we will focus our discussion is Scott Fitzgerald, F S C O T T Scott, F I T Z G E R A L D Fitzgerald, Scott Fitzgerald, another uh, American novelist, and uh, uh, the novel, the work on which uh, we will also throw some light is The Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby is a, uh, one of the masterpieces of Scott Fitzgerald. We will have discussion on it today. <coughs> uh, uh, dear participants, uh, we have already discussed uh, two American novelists in our preceding uh, classes. Uh, today, uh, another um, young novelist, Scott Fitzgerald, uh, will have our discussion on uh, his work, The Great Gets By, The Great Gets By, G A T S B Y, Gets By, The Great Gets By uh, is the name of the novel on which we will have a discussion. Of <clears throat> the uh, significance of Fitzgerald, the uh, importance of Fitzgerald lies in the fact that uh, he captured the mood of American society. Uh, as uh, 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 day before, I had also uh, 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 I had also uh, taken up a discussion with you. Uh, and uh, had categorically told that a writer does not write in vacuum. He needs some issues. He needs some social issues. He needs some uh, 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 ethos. He needs some uh, social characteristic. And similarly, in this way, the significance of Fitzgerald lies in the fact that he captured the mood of the American society in a very crucial time. Uh, he captured the mood of the American society at the time America was being forming itself between uh, the two uh, world wars, between the two world wars. Uh, try to <coughs> uh, understand it, try to get my point. Uh, he captured the mood of the American society at a time, at a time, uh, when America was being forming itself between two great world wars. So, a Scott uh, was born in 1896 and died in 1940. And during his lifetime, he witnessed two actually great world wars. Uh, the period between 1915 and 1932 is very relevant. The period between 1915 and uh, 15 to 1930 is very relevant for studying the background for the work of Fitzgerald. Uh, remember one thing, the year 1915, second year of the First World War. First World War started in the year 1914 and year 1915, second year of the First World War. And very coincidentally, it was the third year of Wilson's first term as president, uh, year 1915. And <clears throat> we shall begin with the year 1914 in order to place Fitzgerald in the context of the two world wars. Uh, how when the when America was passing through um, a, a difficult time 
when america was passing through a difficult time when the american society was completely shattered completely devastated uh, during that period of during that period uh, uh, a, a young novelist like fitzgerald uh, is uh, trying hard to establish himself uh, uh, on uh, writings on writings we shall begin therefore we shall begin with the year 1915 uh, just one year after the world war in order to place fitzgerald in the context of the two great world wars we shall also look at the uh, quintessential literary uh, productions between 1915 to 1932 uh, he <clears throat> the work on which we are going to have our discussion today uh, the great gets by he finished this novel he finished this novel in the year 1924 which novel the great gets by of scott fitzgerald he finished his novel the great gets by in the year 1924 and he also uh, got its publication he also got its publication in the year just after one year in the year 1925 so uh, very uh, the, the one year span he, he took one year span uh, to get uh, publication of his great novel, The Great Gets By. The Great Gets By is probably his most perfect work. Uh, many critics also uh, give their opinion that Great Gets By uh, is one of the masterpieces, one of the best works, one of the best writings of uh, Fitzgerald. And The Great Gets By is considered is probably his most perfect work significantly dedicated uh, work of Fitzgerald and significantly it is one of his dedicated works of uh, um, one of his dedicated works and <clears throat> uh, uh, we uh, it is also important to keep it in uh, keep it keep this fact in our mind that this novel the great gets by own uh, praise from distinguished writers like T.S. Eliot. T.S. Eliot, who is one of the uh, most successful uh, writers, most successful uh, um, actually uh, um, uh, uh, novelist of uh, uh, that time, uh, he also praised this distinguished uh, work. The Great Gets By. And it was produced successfully as a play. Later in later part, in later part, this novel of Gets By, The Great Gets By, this novel of Fitzgerald, The Great Gets By, uh, successfully, it, it was produced successfully as a play in 1926. In 1920, it got, he finished the work in 1924 got its publication in 1925 and it was also produced successfully as a play uh, a, on the stage in 1926 and uh, very interestingly Fitzgerald when the play actually was uh, produced on the stage uh, it actually received uh, popularity and very uh, uh, interestingly Fitzgerald made up his mind uh, to sell it to the movies, to sell the novel to the movies for a good price, for a good price. It was produced successfully as a play in 1926 and subsequently the same play was sold to the movies uh, for a good price in spite of the fact that, in spite of the fact that the story of gets by uh, is placed in the realistic mode is, is staged in the realistic mode 
is presented in the realistic mode is viewed in the in its realistic mode there are elements of non realism non realism in the narration non realism in the narration using many literary devices as a student of english literature uh, uh, you are probably uh, well conversant with literary terms like allegory symbolism fable uh, you must have sound knowledge on it and uh, this book this novel on which we are uh, going to throw some light uh, here fijeral uh, the uh, the characters there are uh, the characters uh, which uh, fijeral tries to uh, present in this novel bear elements of non realism bear elements of non realism uh, using literary devices like allegory and symbolism fable gets by mingled dream of love and money through the character gets by mingled dream of love and money and the iron strength of his romantic will make up the essence of the fable so there is there is a mixture uh, of different incident different events and uh, gets by uh, very rightly tries to uh, actually uh, bring those elements into the character and the character very successfully uh, display uh, characters successfully display uh, 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 actually uh, certain things uh, like love uh, love for money um, iron strength of romantic will uh, the essence the, the these were some of the elements these were some of the issues which fijeral uh, tries to uh, uh actually uh, present through the characters of the novel <coughs> uh participants their participants the symbolic and allegorical label the symbolic and allegorical label in the play the great gatsby are such an integral part are such uh, uh such uh, such an integral part of the novel that there is more than a protagonist it it, it 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 seems that there is more than a protagonist in the uh, play a plot and a green light a plot and a green light these are two important things which fijeral wants to underline or uh, to or to underline a plot and a green light perhaps the green light may be connected with the uh, well known american dreams as fijeral actually fijeral wants to give a message uh, that the green light which he mentions in the play may be connected with the well known american dream of that time and uh, as we all know uh, this uh, the, the novel uh, the great gets by Mm, is a product during uh, a, a crucial time uh, that america was passing through uh, the uh, experiences of uh, the great two world wars world war the first world war the second and naturally uh, the green light which fijeral suggest which fijeral highlights in the novel may be connected with the well known american dreams uh, a, a another american novelist uh, uh, rally points out that fitzgerald's character uh, gets by points out another novelist contemporary novelist uh, rally r a l e i g h rally points out that fitzgerald's character in the novel the gets by as has often been said represents the irony of american history gets by is a character a is a main character of the novel which represents 
the irony of american history and you can underline the two things gets by the great gets by as rale comments as rale points out he, in his comment his character fitzgerald's character gets by represents the irony of american history and the corruption of the american dream now uh, this character the, the this character his character gets by represent two things american history and corruption of american dream the allegorical level of the novel allegorical novel uh, level of the novel is brought out by um, raleigh by john henry raleigh when in his essay when in his essay john henry raleigh uh, makes comments on fitzgerald's work the great gets by uh, and in his essay raleigh legendary basis and allegorical significances the essay of this is the essay of uh, john henry raleigh and in this essay legendary basis and allegorical significance significances particularly uh, with reference to uh, uh, the great gets by of scott fitzgerald in this essay john henry raleigh relates it with relationship between the narrator uh, nick nick is another character of the novel and gets by the uh, protagonist uh, gets by as the protagonist and nick as the narrator uh, and he relates it with relationship between the two important characters nick and gets by Allegor allegorically considered allegorically considered uh, nick is region nick represents region nick represents uh, experience nick represents waking nick represents reality nick represents history whereas gets by represents imagination gets by represents innocence gets gets by represents sleeping dream eternity so uh, compare the uh, these two characters and how they represent uh, different actually uh, uh, they, they represent different situation they represent different uh, um, uh, issues they represent different uh, characteristics nick and gets by when nick is representing region experience waking reality history gets by is representing imagination innocence sleeping dream and eternity nick is uh, <clears throat> very uh, john henry raleigh very aptly rightly compares these two characters and gives his comment according to him according to raleigh nick is like wordsworth nick is like wordsworth listening to the still sad music of humanity nick is like wordsworth listening to so this is the comment of uh, john henry raleigh while making a critical analysis while reviewing the work of fitzgerald he makes comments and aptly compares these two characters nick is like wordsworth listening to the still sad music of humanity and on gets by he also makes his comment rale on gets by he also makes his comment while gets by is like william blake seeing host of angels a host of angels in this song so see the differences in their imagination see the difference mark the differences in their thought mark the difference differences in their uh, actually uh, characteristic uh, comparing these two things so 
Fitzgerald very successfully uh, present uh, different uh, these two characters very successfully present these two characters uh, with a uh, 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 he 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 presents the very so he presents successfully the these two characters in the play and two characters through two characters uh, through these two characters Fitzgerald is trying to uh, 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 take up uh, the uh, prevalent issues uh, running high in America during a period when uh, America is uh, America America is dreaming something uh, being completely uh, devastated by the uh, chaotic uh, actually effects of the great two world wars and <clears throat> here again henry rale uh, is a comment uh, uh, can be taken into account his comments can be taken into account when we are discussing uh, his comment also uh, can also be taken into account and according to john henry rale uh, nick nick nick's mind is conservative and historical while gets by is radical and apocalyptic very important he compares these two characters nick's mind is conservative and historical while gets by is radical in his temperament apocalyptic in his vision radical in his temperament and apocalyptic in his vision who gets by and nick is very conservative in his thought and historical in his vision historical in his vision he is, uh, gets by is as rootless as his heritage as rootless as his heritage gets by experiences ecstasy ecstasy but his fate is necessarily tragic at the end of the play uh, gets by meets uh, a tragic end therefore he experiences ecstasy and it must be uh, uh, taken note that gets by is as rootless as his heritage experiencing ecstasy but uh, his fate is necessarily tragic there are a great many <coughs> literary approaches and opinions great many literary approaches and op opinions expressed <coughs> by uh, well known uh, american critics like william tory edwin fossils edmond wilson james miller john henry rally and reuse <coughs> winning and so many others so many others so uh, naturally when a novelist uh, <coughs> uh, actually uh, releases a piece of writing uh, whether it is novel or whether it is other forms of literature uh, naturally it receives critical approaches critical opinions from different angles from different playwright from different novels from different critics and obviously there are a great many critical approaches and opinions expressed by well known american critic like uh, william tory edwin fossil edmund wilson james miller john henry rally andrews warnings and <clears throat> many others john henry explores the context of symbol and allegory in this novel he explores the context of symbol and allegory in fitzgerald's the great gets by and comes to the conclusion that the novel does not deal with local customs 
John Henry, comment. The novel does not deal with local customs or even national or international levels, but in the permanent realities of existence. Obviously, as we know, if you have, if you, when we will go, uh, when we will uh, live through the pages of the novel, when we, when we will uh, study this novel, you can also find uh, the same thing on different chapters. The, in, the, 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 this novel uh, actually uh, um, uh, deals with the permanent realities of existence and particularly <clears throat> in the context of American society at that time. Uh, another critic, uh, uh, Tom Burnham, feels that the novel um, seems a descriptively simple work, seems a descriptively simple work. It is complex with the symbolic and allegorical aspects. So this novel, uh, in fact, there is, uh, with the help of literary devices, symbols, allegory, fable, uh, 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 Fitzgerald uh, takes the help of literary devices to represent the characters, to represent the uh, main characters in the novel and the uh, uh, the, the, the uh, objective which he was trying to underline, which he was trying to aim, uh, um, he fulfills it uh, through the, uh, 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 the help of uh, with the help of literary devices through the characters. As a uh, as great a critic as uh, Lionel Trilling, one of the important critics of that time, Lionel Trilling. He also uh, wants to make uh, he, his comments on the work of Fitzgerald. He estimates the importance of the novel. Who? Lionel Trilling, another critic, a great critic of that time. Lionel, L-I-O-N-E-L, Lionel, T-R-I-L-L-I-N-G, Lionel Trilling, estimates the importance of the novel. Uh, the great Gatsby has gained in wit, according to him, the great uh, uh, the great Gatsby has gained its weight and relevance, both in the sense of awareness and appropriation, both in the sense of awareness and appreciation. Uh, this is how the uh, great critic uh, like Lionel Trilling uh, makes his comment. He uh, uh, recognizes the novel as one of the uh, best works of Fitzgerald. He accepts the novel as one of the masterpieces of uh, Fitzgerald. And he also estimates uh, the importance of the novel and uh, says that the novel The Great Gets By has gained in weight, has gained in weight uh, and relevance. Very two important they gained in weight and relevance, both in the sense of awareness and appropriation. So the novel is very appropriate, the novel is relevant, particularly in the context of American society at that time, at a time when um, novelist Scott uh, Fitzgerald has produced the work. As we know, in the year 1924, the novel, uh, he, he finished the novel. In the year 25, he got its publication. In the year 26, 1926, uh, he uh, actually um, uh, uh, produced it. Uh, on the stage and subsequently when it got popularity, he sold it to the movies with a very good price and naturally, but <coughs> the, uh, uh, therefore the great gets, gets by uh, uh, can uh, certainly be considered as one of the best works of uh, Fitzgerald. Uh, 
so far as the technique of uh, uh, Fitzgerald is concerned, we will have uh, um, uh, a, a we'll have uh, 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 we should also throw a, a little light on it uh, on his technique, uh, how he uh, what technique uh, Fitzgerald follows, uh, how he became successful uh, uh, to uh, actually popularize this novel. One of the most significant aspects, one of the most significant aspects of the great Gatsby, which makes it an extraordinary novel in the introduction of the narrator and the narrative technique in the novel. Uh, is extraordinary novel is the introduction of the narrator and the narrative technique of the novel, two important things the introduction of the narrator and the narrative technique which Fitzgerald adopted in this novel. The <coughs> technique, uh, many critics uh, have commented that uh, Fitzgerald has uh, adopted uh, techniques, the first person narration, first person narration using the letter I by Nick Caraway. Fitzgerald has adopted the first person narration technique using the letter I by Nick N I C K Nick C A R R A W A Y Nick Caraway. And how he perceives the other characters is exploded. The narrator's voice, uh, the narrator's voice using the letter I is an interesting literary device. Why? Why he, why Fitzgerald actually adopted the first person expression technique in his novel? That is what we will discuss now. The narrator's voice, narrator's voice, the tell, storyteller of the novel, the narrator voice using the letter I is an interesting literary device. Uh, <clears throat> for example, Christopher Esarot uses I narration in many of his novels. This I is a persona, is a persona, as different form of person, persona, a different form of person, I. This is the technique which Fitzgerald also uses in his novel, The Great Gets By. In fact, uh, the, that is why a play version about uh, this, his work is entitled, I as a camera, I becomes the camera eye, which records things, which records events, which records characters, quite objectively as a camera records minute of the uh, 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 incident uh, very uh, objectively. The first, uh, first person expression, uh, I becomes the camera eye in the novel. I becomes the camera eye in the novel, recording which records things, which records events, which records characters, quite objectively. The, <clears throat> Nick Carraway, Nick Carraway, the narrator, says about Gets By. Nick Carraway, the narrator, Nick, uh, the, Nick uh, Carraway, the narrator, Gets By, the protagonist. Nick Carraway, the narrator, says about Gets By, if personality is an unknown series of successful gestures, then there was uh, some there, there was uh, something gorgeous about him, some heightened sensitivity to the promises of life, as if he were related to one of those intricate machines that register earthquakes 10,000 miles away. I quote, here Nick introduces himself in a matter-of-fact manner. 
Nick introduces himself in a matter of fact manner. I quote, I graduated from New Haven in 1915, just a quarter from a century after my father and little later, I participated in that delayed Teutonic migration known as the Great War. So, I want to say that this technique, the first person expression, which Fitzgerald uses in his novel The Great Great Buy, actually uh, heightens the uh, character, heightens the action, heightens the character, heightens the action, heightens their mood, heightens their mood, uh, and uh, action becomes more actions of the character become more effective. He described gets by house uh, and very objectively Nick Caraway. Uh, I quote, it was a factual imitation of some hotel de villa in Normandy with a tower on one side spanking new under a thin beard of raw ivy and a marble swimming pool and more than 40 acres of lawn and garden. It was gets by man, mansions, gets by mansion or rather as I did not know Mr. Gets by it was a mansion inhabited by a gentleman of that time, that name. My own house was an eyesore, but it was a small eyesore and it had been overlooked. Uh, I unquote. So, this is the narrator's uh, outside comment by distancing himself. Outside comment, Mark, this is a narrator's outside comment by distancing himself and describing gets by the man and uh, the milieu. It would be difficult to present a hero like Gatsby directly. Many critics also say that it is not so much easy, it is very difficult to present a hero like Gatsby direct, directly. Uh, Gatsby, as you know, is a foot uh, legger, a foot legger, a, uh, a lieutenant, uh, a lieutenant Though a narrator, uh, though a narrat narrator, uh, <coughs> here, uh, throw, a, throw, throw a narrator and by having the narrator provide the irony, he does it brilli brilliantly. But in the end, we have to recognize that he means us to be wholly on the hero's side, to believe that without gets by extreme idealism, a life is simply unlivable. So, previously we have discussed some of the uh, mm, juxtaposing uh, characteristics of both Nick and uh, gets by. And here Nick rightly says that regarding the role of uh, gets by, uh, he, we have to believe that without gets by extreme idealism, a life is simply unlivable. Life is simply unlivable. And uh, Nick's, uh, in this play, Nick's double role as a narrator, as well as a character in the novel, constantly changes. He plays double role, role as a narrator, as well as a character. In the novel, constantly changes. His portrayal the other characters as they come into a contact with him also includes his judgment of other characters, his judge, uh, other character. Elsewhere, he congratulates gets by upon his honesty. The presence of the narrator within the novel makes some differences to its presentation and to the reader's response too. The reader is more aware of the color which may be added to the story by the personality of the storyteller. There may even be some question 
of how far we are to accept his version of events. There may be some question, but although the action of the novel leads towards the death of the character from whom the novel takes its name, that is a positive goal, that is a positive goal for the book and the moral perceptions of Nick's Caraway, moral perception of Nick's Caraway move from a position of neutrality to one of commitment. This is very important. The moral perceptions of Nick Caraway move from a position of neutrality. In some, uh, uh, in certain scenes, in certain uh, uh, episodes in the novel, Nick maintains neutrality uh, and he uh, also he he also represents uh, commitment in the play. Thus, the narrator who has been used most effectively in the narrative technique is one of the most important things to be explored uh, uh, as a character of commitment in the novel. I repeat it again. The narrator who has been most effectively in the narrator's technique, Nick represents uh, the most effective character in the narrative technique and uh, it gets by uh, the most important character to be explored in the study of the novel. Mm. <clears throat> Fitzgerald's career as a writer in Hollywood, his career as a writer in the Hollywood, uh, where Fitzgerald worked briefly as a script writer, uh, uh, it also uh, actually uh, need, need, it also needs to be mentioned. In the year 1927, he did script writing. Fitzgerald did script writing in Hollywood, to which place he moved in the year 1937. As he initially, initially he did script writing. Uh, he fell in love with Graham and the excellent film, The Beloved Infidel. Uh, the deals with this stage of his life in the context of Hollywood, it would be mentioned that a separate genre of novels which have come to be known as Hollywood novels exist. Hollywood novels. So, uh, uh, and Fitzgerald belongs to that group. For example, but Soulbuck's What Makes Sammy Ron Indeed a Separate Research Study has been made on the Hollywood novels. And <clears throat> the unfinished novel of Fitzgerald, uh, he could not finish a novel. The unfinished novel of Fitzgerald, the last tycoon, can be mentioned uh, here. Christopher Isarod, who was uh, uh, a teacher, uh, mentioned here that his novel uh, he could have been another masterpiece. Could have been another masterpiece, but Fitzgerald could not finish it could not uh, complete it. However, a film script is different form of a novel or even a novel has to be scripted again before it is made into film, whether it is a play or a novel or a short story, literary work when it is to be made into a film has to be rewritten. And successfully Fitzgerald, as we have already discussed Fitzgerald, uh, <coughs> Fitzgerald uh, published it in the year 1924, uh, public, got publication in the year 25 and sold it to movie in the year 26. Uh, uh, and therefore, he is naturally uh, a successful um, uh, novelist. Uh, of that time. His life uh, gets by, uh, life is an 
illustration of certain criminal activity on his part and his subsequent struggle for gaining respectability gets by life. He was the son of some wealthy people in the Middle West. Though he was brought up in America, he spent uh, some time getting educated at Oxford. A part of his attempt at establishing his credibility as an Oxford man consists of his using expression old sport, which is a mannerism among addressing each other at Oxford between good friends. When his, which, when his family died, he came into a good deal. He came into a good deal of money, according to his own statement. Gets by statement. After I lived like a young Raja in all the capitals of Europe, Paris, Venice, Rome, collecting jewels, cheaply rubies, hunting big game, painting a little, things for myself only, and trying to forget something that had happened to me long ago. Then came the war, old sports. It is a great relief and I tried very hard to die and I seemed to bear an enchanted life. I accepted a commission as first lieutenant. So, I unquote. So, this, this, is, this, this is the version of uh, Gatsby. Uh, so, Gatsby, arising from this dual perception, dual perception of the character of Gatsby, an expression from the text where Gatsby is described as having a platonic conception of himself and provides a clue to the relationship between criminal wealth of respectability criminal wealth of wealth and respectability two things I, I i mentioned two things in my uh, lecture arising from this dual perception of character dual perception so uh, gets by friends gets by maintains dual character in the play gets by maintain dual character in the play arising from this dual perception of character of gets by an expression from the text where gets by is described as having platonic conception of himself provides a clue to the relationship between criminal wealth and respectability from his uh, speeches from his uh, 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 from this from, from from the lines which uh, Fitzgerald successfully uh, actually uh, portrays uh, gets by as a protagonist of the play, as a character, mm, uh, it bears dual uh, mm, uh, perception. It, it bears dual perception, platonic conception of himself and criminal wealth of respectability. He thought of himself as a son of God who gets by, thought of himself as a son of God. And uh, but his uh, character is uh, brought under suspicion. He is, he, is, he, he is suspected, and Tom Bochan suspects his bona fides both as a gentleman and as an Oxford man. So on one hand, he presents himself as a gentleman. On the other, uh, he actually his character. Uh, is represented as a lieutenant. Uh, so he has a hunch that gets by watch a bootlegger, bootlegger. So by watch a bootlegger, B O O T, boot, uh, L E G G R, legger, bootlegger. Hmm. Uh, means a gangster's lieutenant, gangster's lieutenant from the one. You might so it is very easy on our part to know the real personality, the real character of uh, I mean gets by. So <clears throat> and is extremely jealous of his wife. Who gets by? Is extremely jealous of his wife. They is thinking well of him. Nick is quite Nick is quite fond of gets by. Nick is quite fond of gets by, and therefore 
his reference references to gets by are quite favorable in the play for example he says my eyes fell on gets by standing alone on the marble steps and looking from one group to another with approving eyes his tanned skin was drawn attractively tight on his face and his short hair looked as though it were trimmed every day so which comment is this this is the comment of nick nick karewe so nick is quite fond of gets by and therefore nick in his references uh to gets by are quite favorable uh here <coughs> we learn that he knew uh, gets by actually gets by's positive side is seen when he dances a fox trot and is quite charming so therefore uh, we learn that he knew women early and since they spoiled him he became contemptuous of them he knew he la we learn that he knew in the play uh, we learn that he knew women early and since they spoiled him he became contemptuous of them two characters who bring out the dark side of gets we are don dan cody and olsen cody was a 50 year old man a product of the navada silver field and the transactions of uh, montana cooper had made him many times a millionaire he was physically robust gets by association with him a central to the understanding of the criminality and respect the respectability of gets by uh, cody himself is described in a characteristically uh, fitzgeraldian style when he says an infinite number of women tried to separate him from his money very important this is a line is an infinite number of women tried to separate him separate gets by from his money it is the fact that gets by was employed by cody in a dubious manner in a number of capacities like a maid like a skipper like a secretary or even jailer because dan cody sober knew what levis doing dan cody drunk might soon be about and could provide it for such contingency by responding so in other words uh, gets by is used uh, by other characters for so many things gets by is used by other character by so many things and uh, ultimately this was the uh gets by uh let's he here uh gets by uh, uh meets tragic end uh, in the the worst of human nature is shown by fitzgerald when no one turned up from his funeral when uh, uh, though hundreds had eaten at his place uh, <laughs> very uh, ironically the worst of human nature is shown by fitzgerald in this play what what is that when no one turned up for his funeral though hundreds had eaten at his place which place gets by the mansion gets by hotel it is said it is a sad comment on human nature that when a man dies he dies alone it is a very sad comment of human nature when a man dies he dies alone absolutely alone and that is true in case of gets by that is true in case of uh, uh, gets by in case of fitzgerald uh, 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 most successful novel gets by to use an expression of what's what the little unremembered acts of kindness of love strangely enough this aspect of gets by is also present in the novel as he did not even know who gets by did not even know who his guests were who were enjoyed themselves at his parties and when he dies nobody even comes to his funeral he dies alone absolutely alone and everybody wants to play safe especially uh, 
especially uh, devious character like him. In fact, when Nick goes to New York to see when his secretary blatantly tells like he had done, he had gone to Chicago where he was very much behind the door. So this is how uh, the gets by uh, a, 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 who is the protagonist of the play meets his tragic end at last and ironically uh, when he dies nobody comes to his funeral he dies alone absolutely alone thank you all hello yes sir so hello time is over i think yes sir yes sir <laughs> Hello, uh, participants. Are you on the? Uh, are you uh, online? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, uh, so, uh, what is your homework? What are you doing after this? Are you going through the uh, material after we are discussing? Or you don't have any, many any material with you? We don't the... give any material. You, you don't have materials. No, sir. No, sir. Uh -huh. So uh, you you have not received uh, the material from the center yet. No, sir. Uh -huh. uh, so without the material, uh, um, uh, how can you manage to prepare yourself for the examination? Sir, platonic conception. Sir, hmm? Platonic conception related to. Part plateau. What? I could not get you. Sir, gets by described as a platonic conception of himself. Such mm -hmm. a platonic conception, sir. Platonic concept is a positive uh, side. Uh, positive platonic concept means uh, uh, the ideal uh, perception of uh, personality. Mm. I, uh, platonic sir, conception. Uh, Excuse me, sir. Sir, Hello. what are the important questions, sir? Uh, what are the important questions from the exam point of view from this chapter, sir? From this novel? Uh, oh, important questions. So, estimate uh, you can expect uh, one question. Uh, uh, the uh, great gets by is a novel uh, full of literary devices like symbolism, allegory, fable discuss you may this is the only question that is probable for you only questions because he here the novelist has uh, he has used the device uh, literary devices and this book is full of man, allegory symbolism fables and uh, you, this uh, to me it likes that you you are supposed to get a question on it uh, the great gets by is a novel uh, uh, in which Fitzgerald makes use of symbolism, allegory, and fable, discuss with reference to characters uh, uh, like Nick and Gatsby. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, Salah, you have to go through the novel's detail or. Uh, Thank <laughs> you. 